What was the hardest thing I learned when studying mathematics? Hmm. I guess when most people think of a question like that, they think, you know, one particular subject or theorem or topic that was particularly hard. But I think the answer to that question for me is actually an experience. It was my, my dissertation, my PhD thesis. So I you know, went, came to America for graduate school and I you know, did my usual little self-studying for the first two years. And then the final few years of my PhD was studying on an original problem. No one had thought about this problem before. No one had answered this problem before. It was up to me to get somewhere with it. OK, it was a great problem, except I had nothing to show for it after a while. I thought about it deeply. I read all the books about it. I thought about the possible things I could do. And after a few months, I got nowhere in answering that problem. Well, that few months turned into a year, and I still had nothing to show for the problem. I did a lot of work on it. I was working very hard. I was working many, many, many hours each and every day, almost seven days a week on this one problem. But even after a year, I had nothing to show for it. So the trouble with mathematics, it's great you say, well, I tried this and it didn't work. But no one would ever want to write a paper about all the things you tried that didn't work. It doesn't cut the mustard. So I kept going. Year number two. I still had absolutely nothing to show for working on this problem. It would not yield. Nothing cracked. In fact, over two years, I was about two years and, uh, let's see, about, about eight more months, actually. I was in my final year of my PhD program, having worked on the same problem with nothing to show on it for two years and eight months. And then I remember, it was one particular Monday afternoon, went back down to the library of my university, got out my books yet again, got out all my paper and pencils, kept working on the problem. And I was stuck on one particular formula that somehow expressed what I was trying to show. And I realized, if I just rearranged the terms of this formula, I could suddenly see a certain connection that hadn't occurred to me before. And as soon as I made that connection in my mind, everything just fell into place. And within two hours on that Monday afternoon, Everything really did fall into place that I actually completely solved the problem. I wrote to my advisor, and right then and there, I had my thesis. And the remaining few weeks were just a matter of writing it up. So I think the hardest thing I learned in mathematics was perseverance and patience. And this is the nature of mathematics. Math is very binary. It's usually nothing, 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 and then everything. You've got it. It's also very humbling, because once you've got it, you realize it looks so obvious. So you've got this sort of humiliating experience, like, oh, why didn't I just get that in the first place? That's what I learned. That's the nature of mathematics. When you don't know what it is, it's a nightmare. When you know what it is, it's pure joy and humility. Like, why don't I get that in the first place? That's okay. That's beautiful. That's back the, the, the thrill of it all that keeps you going. So the hardest thing I learned was epiphanies will come when they come, be they years, months, days, weeks, minutes. Who knows? Let the math speak for itself. That's the nature of research. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.